Okay, so we made it into episode 11 here um, of the series, and I want to correct something that I got wrong earlier. I said that uh, Scotland's war for Northumberland had failed. Uh, it didn't, actually. You can see Northumberland very much conquered by the Scots. I was under the impression that they were going for more of it, um, that they were going for the entire duchy of Northumberland rather than just the county. So there is uh, the result of that. We, on the other hand, are still looking to expand southwestward into Ireland, try to build up our strength before we take on Scotland proper. In fact, we may be forced to form the Kingdom of Ireland uh, before we actually do that, but we'll just have to see how things go. Don't think there's anything crazy um, for us to do. Right at the moment, we, you know, we're, we're clear out of our truce, which is somewhat dangerous because it means Scotland could definitely attack us this episode. We still have claims on the Isle of Man and Clydesdale uh, against Scotland if we see an opportunity, but I really doubt we're going to see that kind of opportunity. So, let's get to it. Now, one of the options here, um, I, I considered doing this for maybe some of these smaller independent counties, is to offer vassalization. The problem, um, as you can imagine, they don't normally you know, feel compelled to do that. It kind of helps to be a couple of orders higher than them on the uh, feudal ladder when you ask. So, you know, that guy had a 28 opinion of us. This guy's got a 23 opinion of us. And um, you know he won't do it either. We could try to bribe him. But I really don't think that that's um, where we need to be going at the moment. All right, we're waiting for our chancellor to come through with a claim on Canock. And if that happens, then we will go ahead and fight that war. But if it doesn't happen, then we're probably going to go into a summer fair here in May and keep building up uh, our prestige. Still a rebellion in England. I think you can see that here. And there's still this strange war going on in Orkney. It somehow has involved a couple of minor uh, Irish folks. Oh! And the Connacht forces are going to fight our rebels. That's very nice of them. No, you know, as long as they're going to, as long as they're doing that, I don't know, I just stay out of the way and let them do it. Now, rebel forces are not as technically proficient as raised forces. They still had um, more men, you can see here. All right, but now we definitely need to take care of this part, and these Canuck troops are. Uh... So let's see here. We can raise four thousand men. We only need about two thousand.
hopefully this should take care of the problem. Okay, for some reason our center flank was very poorly uh, weighted. Also, I hate the word center flank. It, let's just say the center was very poorly weighted. And that takes care of that problem. Uh, it did interfere with our summer fair though. Couldn't raise any troops during the summer fair. This is fascinating just because the Visby is, we're talking about territory that, that's way over in Scandinavia. Oh, well, this is interesting. England evidently controls half of Denmark. That must have happened based on that Danish Denmark claim uh, that went through. I don't think Denmark is hurting necessarily for land. Visby, I think is somewhere okay hold on we might be about to deceit the Earl of uh, Tyr Connell and we will if if he keeps up with his interest in the Duchy of Ulster, then we will go and get him after the feast is over. And of course he doesn't like, he doesn't want to show up for the feast. And uh, you know, a bunch of people don't want to show up for the feast. That's disappointing. Okay, we have boats that have just landed in Connacht. We've got, yeah, no, no weak claims of any interest. All of them are just kind of, you know, because anything we, we got involved into, we couldn't keep. All right, this is a very unexciting feast, which means it's now time to add a little bit of excitement. We're going to make our uh, move on the Earl here. Right, and now we need to defeat the Earl's Rebellion. That was basically what I was thinking was going to happen. All right, you guys all meet up there. You guys, you can start heading that direction, but I know you're not going to get there in time. Okay, well, if he's not going to move... Okay, there he goes. Q. 
Okay, I got Edgar, Alistair, and Gilpatrick ready to do their duty. Okay, they tried to be cute. We weren't interested in being cute. Dang it. I am just... Hanging on the commanders is tough. Alright, well with the death of... Oh, no wonder. This was he was in command of the uh, the shorthanded flank. Okay, that means that what, this guy. Hey, Duke Grimm, what the hell is he? Okay, and then Huh. Okay, evidently my uh brother was sleeping around. Weird. Okay, so my dude, my dude died. I can't remember who his wife was. Safe to say it's someone who's not married now. You, no. Nope. Ah, must have been her. Oh, wow, she's the... Oh, she's... Okay. keep running into these women that I'm not utilizing to train uh, people. Morale is holding remarkably steady. All right, well, we'll just have to uh, leave that alone for a bit.
He's just wandering around, you know. Oh, I think I'll go here. Oh, no, I think I'll go here. No, no, I think I'll go here. It's like, oh. All right, well, our thing against Canoct came through, but we're going to have to wait here until we finish uh, this mess. Come on, guys, you're, you're cutting into my feast time. Okay. Now I need to, we're over domain size, so I need to go and hand somebody this county. Um, We're gonna give it to our friend. And then we need to replace commanders, and grab them back. Master of the Horse. Um, thinking the Mayor Michael of Duncalk might get more work than the other guys. And now we just need to have that feast. Need a new court chaplain who's not a uh, naturally the guy who was my best friend decides that yeah we don't need to do that kind of stuff. All right. Feast is on. Still. Waiting for our levies to restore. Of course, this will be Earl Alistair's. Nope. My brother got drunk. All right. 
Now Connacht, currently still at war, 1.64. Oh, hell. Yeah, King of Scotland is back. All right, looks like he's raised about 4,000 men to start with. Um, maybe a little close to 5,000. I don't know what his max is. Max is somewhere around 8,000, so there could easily be more that I just don't see, maybe in Buchan or in Katniss and Ross. Okay, we need to kill King James and nobody wants to do it. Great. Okay, one thing about losing Argyle is I'm not technically losing much land so much as I do have 300 gold pieces so I can hold mercenaries for a little bit longer than I could have previously. So, okay. Looking for cheap. Okay, we need everybody to gather together. Thinking of the safest place to do it. Well, actually, I take that back. We are going. We'll try to join the forces in Galloway. See what the Scots do to react. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and attack these Bumpkins. You guys. Okay. You guys are acting like you don't know where you're going, so we're going to just send you to Ulster. We're going to send you troops to Ulster.
you guys need to head to the Isle of Man. You guys, it's just 200 of you, just hang out. Sec here. Now, the theory is, if we can come over here, across the Isle of Man, and attack them quickly, then we can hold the defensive for if the Scots decide to show up and attack us. Just like that. Okay, so now we can defend the high ground against a slightly smaller number of Scottish troops, assuming, of course, they're not headed for Ulster. And we can keep our army in Ulster hanging out for the time being. We just have to keep uh, playing that seeing what happens. All right. Okay, now again, we should have some advantage because they had to cross the river, but... Okay. Okay, they just reinforced their army. They they now broke us. It's not Since I don't know where my broken army is going to go, but I do know it's not going to be big enough. God damn it. What the fuck? What do you mean you're going to... Okay, my best friend wants to kill my brother. You know, just normal state of affairs. Okay, now. See what I can get done here. Now the good thing is, is that since we now have mercenaries in the company, they're going to be reinforcing at a fairly, a little bit better rate than our ordinary forces uh, would be doing it at. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to find a place we're going to attack Clydesdale. 
Now, there's an argument to staying in the Isle of Man, but... the hell? All right, we had a poke die. Bishop Sweeney just died. Okay, I'm going to force them to come get me. Picked up somebody named Mary, I don't know. It's all about oh! Hello, King Peter of, Ar of England. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. New strategy. We need... Okay. we need to do is we need to somehow hope that England and Scotland will fight. Okay, she needs a guardian. So many good guardian peoples. So England declared war on Northumberland probably about the same time. So I'm going to let them completely occupy Athol. Okay, William needs to realize that I'm his only hope of saving his... God dang it. Yeah, I'm aware.
have to let it go for the moment. I don't. Okay. I killed one of their commanders. I hope is that we can hold out long enough. But even if we don't, the fact that there's now an English army right here. And we're going to have to go for a warrior bishop. I... Okay, what's my spy master up to? I know he's in Argyle right now. Maybe I can send him in a mission where he can go take tabs on somebody else. Oh, Duke Grimm of Upland. Oh! Oh, our friend has become... has become a Danish noble. Um, hmm. I don't know if my friend will actually... All right, so Duke Grimm's going to come join us. The Scottish army has been pulverized, as you can see here. And now our men can... Now our men can take care of retaking Athol. And here come the Danes, right? Somebody likes us after all in this world. I was really starting to think that we were going to be, you know, more or less stuck. But as soon as we retake Athol, um, Yeah, it's just a thousand men, not not a huge a number. So, ironically, I said this was going to be a vengeance against the Vikings campaign, and we haven't gotten there yet. Um, Upland. I'm not really sure where Upland is, but I do know it's it's a it's a Danish holding. I think that's a, it's the same thing as Upland, which is a Norwegian holding, but. Okay, well, the English have actually been... Are they routing or are they just suffering attrition? I think they're just suffering attrition. Oh, we have that running war score on us. So that's not good. Hopefully we can um, take back some of these holdings before that gets too far gone. Okay, we've crunched a good percentage of it now. 
I'm going to hold up on the this episode until we get to the end of this particular war against Scotland. Okay, I've got a 4,000 man Scottish army that could look to start trouble. Um, You know, our holding in Clydesdale, not nearly as important right now as our holding in Argyle. And if we can win this war, we can hold off uh, Scotland coming back at us for another 10 years. And that'll give us more time to um, get help in Ireland. See, the reinforcement uh, number for the Scots is getting up a pretty decent level here. Oh, I see what happened. They surrendered to the English. They gave up Northumberland. So, okay, well, this, this may not go the way we want after all. All right, so my brother's kid, who's not from his wife, has triggered just about every proud trait uh, trigger that you can get. And I've let him do it too, because honestly, kind of feel okay, and jihad, whatever. It's more important for me to retake Argyle than it is for me to, to get that one holding in Clydesdale back. And I know. that they'll come, oh, actually, huh. okay, I now have a, I... oh, my wife died, crap, well, I'll name the daughter after the wife, um, Oh, that's right, I've got <laughs> just collecting these claims. Okay, I've got Hungarian print. Oh, that's right, we need. You know, as much fun as. Um, hmm. Okay, well, where would I want to go? There's no river between them and Clydesdale. There's a river between there and Stratthorn. could attack them in Clydesdale, but I really want to keep the defensive advantage here. Put Roy in charge of the middle. Rogalak in charge of the left flank, and then Michael in charge of the right. Well, second thought, right, because she hasn't, right, because my wife gave me the extra stuff I needed. Okay, so she got me back to
You're just going to Galloway. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, there are only two holdings in Galloway. Okay, this war might be lasting a little longer than I anticipated. Of course, Scotland um, must have surrendered to England pretty fast. Okay, I have 400 more men. He wants to come fight me. There's a river. I'm hoping I pick this battleground well enough. Um, they've given... I can't tell, but it looks like they've given command to my Danish allies, or my Norwegian allies, whoever. Okay. Well, look who just has a victory against the Scottish army. Oh, that feels good. I mean, <laughs> considering the kind of crap that we went through before. Now, chances are that they will, when they return, they will besiege Argyle instead of, you know, attacking us. Well, this is not good. So I'm going to land and marry my son here. And then I'm going to call it quits. And we'll just have to come back and finish this war uh, next time. Yeah, he didn't really turn out all that good. I'm not really, um, I guess my aunt figured she didn't need to work very hard. Okay, well, Seriously. Um, Okay, so we're just waiting for that to come through. And now, um, hmm. Which one of these is least valuable? 731, 802, 1000. 933. I think this is the smallest one. Okay, we'll do it there. We'll put him in charge here. That will also allow us to 
command the next thing we take over, which isn't so bad. Oh, they only took my uh, chaplain, my warrior bishop with him. Right, go with good old Hamish from the beginning of the game. Somehow still around. Um, and then at Marshall, we will go We'll go with Holger, even though he's not not great, but you know he's he had a somewhat good fe feeling about his dad. Oh, imprisoned by King James. Jeez. I'm sorry, Alistair. I did not know that you had been done wrong like that. Oh. I don't see a need to make my son that position, so we'll... Uh, We'll ignore it for the time being. All right, and so when we come back, we will continue this war with the Scots uh, with the aid of our of our friends from Upland, and uh, hopefully we'll turn it around to victory. We've got a claim on Connacht we can exploit. Uh, we almost had a claim on Kildera we could have used, but we didn't have any money. Yeah, I didn't want the mercenaries to turn on us. So, that being said, I'll see you guys next time.